Why did you stop going to your best friend's house? His brother chased us with an axe during a sleepover. That would do it. It got weird after they moved. The new homie our one has never had good stuff in the fridge and kept saying things like he doesn't live here anymore and the police are on the way. So I just quit going over there. I can take a hint. What did they usually have in the fridge? Steakums and iced tea. In 2014 I developed an allergy to carbonated beverages both alcoholic and soft drinks. And as such I can't drink beer. So I stopped going to bars as I wasn't going to sit about as my best friend got drunk. But I would still go to his house drink coffee and talk to him for hours. Then he started telling me about these new friends that he had made. Okay good for him I thought. Then it got to the point that they were all he would talk about then one day he told me that he went to a gig with them and I said to him that I wanted to go to that gig. He said to me that he knew that but didn't want to go with me because I can't drink beer anymore this would go on for months. Every time I would see him he would tell me about a different gig or movie he had seen with his new friends. And when I said that I would like to have gone with them all he would say was but you can't drink so what's the point. So I just stopped going to his house that was in 2015 and I have never heard from him since. Sometimes compatibility just ends. Yes we can go deep into reasons but it's not worth it. Just move on and add more and better people to lives. That's what I keep telling myself. You're right it just makes me sad sometimes when I think about it. Cause of covid. Same. He got a girlfriend and thought he would focus solely on her. Didn't matter to him. That he would simply ghost me after we had known each other 4 years. That sucks man. Maybe it was for the better. I moved another state away for college and stayed here. I grew up and developed new interests and priorities in life. He's pretty much the same person we were at 18 looking to get drunk every night. But he found other friends for that and they're not really my kind of crowd. That and his wife doesn't seem to like me very much. I learned their parents were racist and talks ill behind my back. Same but they were transphobic towards me. He told me that our friendship was a waste of resources. Both time and money. Dang. You're better off. Is he? If the comment was reversed you'd say the same thing. We started to have different interests that drifted us apart. I don't want to be rude. But honestly I find her apartment depressing. I'd rather just hang out at my place or go to a bar slash restaurant. We'd been best friends since we were 7. As young adults. He started dating a new woman. She did not like how close we were and was always hostile towards me. So I just stopped coming around. I figured we'd pick back up where we left off when they broke up. But that was almost 20 years ago. And we never did. She started having a newer friend over that she was more interested in. Until it was obvious they were both annoyed with my presence. Bitches. We grew up and life goes on. Exactly. We still live in the same town. And have the occasional conversation. But we don't hang out at the house like we used to 15 years ago. We don't hang out thanks to COVID. But previously I saw him a few times a year. He became more of a shut in as time went on so he doesn't come over for parties and stuff. That's life. We still play games online from time to time. I moved in and it became my house too. Wholesome. I was Disney Channel level best friends with a kid when I was little from the time I was like 3 to second grade. We lived in the same neighborhood, went to the same church, in the same preschool and kindergarten CL but for a while. And we'd drop by to hang out with each other at least once a week. I cried for ages when they moved away. We reconnected again right after graduating by coincidence. Friend suggestion on Facebook with no mutual friends. And found out we were going to be at the same session of the same camp that summer. So we decided to room together. Good times. It was fantastic. We aren't super close again or anything. But at least we are back in touch. He got a girlfriend and the girlfriend didn't want him talking to any other females. Despite being best brothers through all of high school and college, he dropped our friendship on the spot. It really fucked me up. Not because he dropped our friendship over finding a girlfriend. That had happened to me more times than I can count. It fucked me up because he was as close as a brother to me. My first friend through all of my school life. 
I had struggled with making friends my entire life due to being a female who wanted to hang with males. He pulled me into the ring of guys that he gamed with and I finally found my place amongst them. All of that was destroyed because he found a girlfriend who absolutely hated me for being friends with him. Haven't had a best friend so could never go. What are your interests? What do you like to do? Racing my cars around the track. Playing fake go. Photography. And looking into deep space with my telescope. I went only once for a sleepover. Almost broke my neck on her stairs in the middle of the night. Never again. Yeah totally her fault. It wasn't anyone's fault. Really. She just didn't have a light above the stairs. And I'm a massive introvert so not being at home is always an adventure to say the least. I realized he would never hit me up anymore and was very awkward when we were together. Turns out he was sleeping with my girlfriend at the time. Killed two birds with one stone. She had a child with a drug dealer and he moved in. Her house was raided and they found drugs and guns. It was in the news. She wasn't my best friend. But I never visited my classmate Jane again after her mother bragged to my mother about curing Jane's brother's fear of dogs by getting him a puppy and letting him kill it. Because he still lives at home with his parents. He's 44. When I was in my 20s, I lived in a big house with Randers and one guy was 41. I didn't think much of it at first but then it came to light that his parents paid his rent and he didn't work. Pretty sure they were paying to not have him live at home anymore because boy, was he a shitty slob man child of a roommate. Restraining order. I learned the bastard took the piss out of me behind my back with a secret I told him. I thought this was literal for way too long. Not her house. Her mom's house. We've been friends for almost 20 years. Her mom doesn't clean. She's not a hoarder. But she doesn't make an effort to do anything beyond some laundry. Occasional vacuuming and taking out the trash. Last time I visited, I took a shower with my beach flip flops on because there was black crud in the tub and used tampon wrappers lying around. I dk why she doesn't hire a housekeeper. She lives in a beautiful neighborhood and has a great job. Just one deep clean a month would do wonders. Does her mom have any mental health issues? I suffer from depression and sometimes I'll go weeks without cleaning. And even when I do it's only a small thing like laundry or vacuuming a room. Not that I know of. She's married to a great guy. Has great relationships with her kids. And is overall a happy person. She could still be depressed. Of course. But I doubt it. I am ho it's laziness. I told him I met a girl and I want to marry her. He said I was stupid. Got married and have two beautiful daughters. His mom was too hot. He became a dick. He treated me like I was his son. Things like saying bless you. Laughing at him. Not wanting to do something with him things like that. He would get pissed off when I didn't like something that his mum made for us and complained that I didn't like anything she made. He would boss me around his house such as force me to finish my dinner regardless if I was full or not. He would wake me up at like 8am on purpose cause he was bored and get mad at me after accidentally waking him up at 10am or later because he had my phone or I was making some noise. He would also get mad at me for hanging out with my other friends saying that I would rather be best friends with them, which I kinda did tbh. So I just stopped being friends with him. There was a lot more, but I can't remember how to explaining through typing. Damn. My best friend's parents weren't in the picture. So she lived with her grandmother which was the best. Her grandma always let us do our thing. Like go to the park to hang out all day or invite a group of friends over to play. She spoiled us with tequilas and fun weekend activities all the time. She clearly wanted us to experience childhood and quickly became an important member to my family too. But then she got too sick to take care of my friend. So she sent her to life with her aunt and uncle. That's when everything changed. Her aunt was a terribly strict woman and it completely shattered the way we'd hang out. I couldn't go over there anymore because my friend was busy cleaning or babysitting her aunt's kids. Her aunt constantly grounded her two over small things, like forgetting to wash the dishes or getting a C in math. I went from seeing my friend every weekend for years to having to wait months in between mere Saturday afternoon visits before she'd have to go babysit some more. 
My friend moved out as soon as she turned 18 and hasn't talked to her aunt or uncle in years. She feels sad about the way things turned out. But I hope they're damn miserable raising their kids on their own. I used to go every morning on my way to school as a teen. I lived an hour walk from school, but my dad drove to work early on. So I'd get a lift each morning and sit around his house for close to an hour before school started. As he lived directly opposite the school, I stopped going when he stopped getting up in the morning. It was fun at first. Then when I arrived he wasn't dressed, which is fine. Then it reached a point where he was still asleep and asked me to let myself in. I totally, totally see this as overstaying my welcome. Didn't really notice this as a kid, but eventually felt slightly less and less welcome as time went on. I should say his parents were always up and awake and were friends with my parents. So it wasn't a who is this kid in my house every morning. I don't mean to be rude, but it was so dirty to the point it hurt my head from how bad it smelled. There was dog shit and piss everywhere cause they never took the dog out. There were cockroaches in the oven and fridge. Piles of garbage everywhere and sticky stains on the couch, chairs, beds, tables and everything. A lot of it is down to clashing work schedules. However she works at the supermarket near my house and used to pop over during her lunch break on my days off but stopped when she got promoted and my narcissistic mum started asking her personal questions about how much she earned and started dropping hints about how she only needs a little bit of money to pay a bill. She did it in front of me and I called her out on it. Then found out from my friend that she would just keep doing it every time I left the room. Or would make comments about how broke she was and it made her really uncomfortable. Fair enough I guess. <laughs> she freaked out on me because she was dealing with her own personal issues and thought I'd be a perfect punching bag. Not even two days ago. It's still raw. She said such terrible things it drove me to the point of suicide. So I've completely cut her out. I need to focus on myself. Not her. It was recent so stay strong. That's not something anyone needs in their life. Even if she acts like it won't happen again keep to your choice, because once it starts it's rare someone stops turning to you as the one who will tolerate abuse. We grew apart as we got older. She was more involved with other crowds of people and was always busy. I felt like, when I was there, she's chained to the house and not able to do what she wanted or go somewhere else. Soon. We didn't have anything in common anymore, and I just knew it's time we go our own separate ways. She didn't even call to ask why, when I called her less and less over time. Because our parents had an argument due to my extremely difficult aunt. Because my body got weaker, so I couldn't go into his house. His family's lack of hygiene. He caught me with his mom and now we aren't best friends anymore. But me and his mom are. Brazzers? Is that you? I wish. She is way too ugly for Brazzers. Has a homophobe and I'm gay. Sucks since we grew up together, but I don't need that toxicity in my life. She moved to California. We actually moved into an apartment together. The lease is coming up, and they're buying houses. So I'm going to restart going to their houses. He lives in Elko, and I live in Sacramento. Bestie plus H U S B A N D equals drama. And Bestie raises GSDs and there are usually puppies around. Guess who would be coming home with a new puppy? Every time I would come over to hang out his dad seemed to think I was free labor. Eventually just got tired of the bullshit and stopped going over there. She told our mutual friends that I was holding her back. Holding her back from what? I helped her in pre-calculus. She still got kicked out of college after the first quarter. Anyway, I ended that friendship. She stole one of my blank checks and tried to take $300 off me. Good times. Her baby's father is kinda and a Harley and I really don't want to be around him. And has always around her so. I caught her offering my BF a BJ. She changed. Like a lot. She was too good for me. I was the loser. I started to grow distanced. Her new friends were strange, but not in the good way, so I stopped visiting. She noticed after 6 months. Texted me why. I never answered. She started seeing this guy that is much older than her, and he manipulated her and apparently I'm the bad guy. 
Her dad is an insane Trump supporter that's not taking COVID seriously, believes in all the wacky conspiracy theories. His bedroom floor was literally covered wall to wall with magazines. Multiple layers thick. I was probably in 7th grade or so, and even then I thought to myself. This dude needs to get his life together. Apostrophe. She stopped inviting me. I never knew why. He fucked my ex-girlfriend two weeks after we split. Damn that's terrible. His brother molested me, M. Luckily I was old enough to nope the duck out before he went any further. Guy had a drug issue and collected concussions like Pokemon. Told my mom when I went home and I was never allowed there again. I didn't fully understand then why, but now that I'm an adult I realize how the king lucky I was. Because he turned into a conspiracy theory believing. Xenophobic. Right wing nut job. He had a child and I just don't relate to kids. They get on my nerves. Sad but funny. Also, it's completely normal for adult men not to be interested in children. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe for more videos.